Yes, I was a systems analyst, and I was a dyslexic systems analyst. So I cannot read my speech, but I'll talk about what I want to talk about. First of all, thank you, Alan, the board, directors, Dr. Lee and Lorraine. Uh, it's been really a beautiful thing to be involved with this organization. One of, one of the things that happened to me, just not my journey with the as an entrepreneur, but my journey with cancer also. My wife, Candy, who was diagnosed uh, four years ago with acute myeloma leukemia, basically incurable cancer. So <laughs> talk a little bit about my journey with cancer as a caregiver. So Candy and I are in, uh, in Naples, and all of a sudden I look at her, and she looks tired, sick. And I said, what's wrong? She said, well, I'm tired, and I just don't know really what's wrong. So we got a couple of blood tests, and uh, our doctor said, listen, I'd like to meet with you at the uh, Florida Cancer Center. I said, what's this about? All right, go there, and uh, he says to her and me, he says, Candy, you got AML. you got to get into the hospital right away. She and I looked at each other and said, what's this all about? First time we ever noticed anything about cancer. So we go fly to Connecticut. And as soon as we get in Connecticut, we go through the emergency room, the hospital. We go upstairs. Candy sits down upstairs in the waiting room. I took a bathroom break, probably the wrong time. But I took a bathroom break. And while, <coughs> while she was in the... Uh, in the waiting room, the doctor showed up and he said to her that she has four months to live. So I walk in and she's crying and she said, he told me I got four months to live. And I said to him, actually I said a couple of words to him. <laughs> There's an, <coughs> there I think is the sixth word in the alphabet. And I told him to go stuff it, this is not gonna happen. So I said, do you know, do you know who I am? I said to him. And he says, I don't care who you are, billionaire, millionaire, important guy. He says, she has four months to live. I said, know who, you know who we are? She's your patient, and I'm your customer. And we're going to get through this together. Well, he and I sort of butted heads for a bit. <laughs> Matter of fact, to the point where the, uh, where the hospital put a referee between the two of us. And we just weren't getting along. But the CEO of the hospital came down to me and said, is there anything we can do to help? He, we, she, she says yes, I said we have to sort of change up here. So she gave us an angel called Dr. Isufi, who helped navigate Candy through her disease. And that is two transplants, bone marrow biopsies, chemotherapy, rashes, candy landed in the, uh, in the hospital for almost two years, of which a year was in bed. And uh, she was in our house for ni nine months, bedridden in our house for nine months. And the sweetest moment, some things, you know, when you have bad things that happen to you in terms of a disease, you have also great things that happen to you too. So I'm going to work one day, and I hear this voice in the, in the, uh, in the bedroom said, Billy, come on in here. And I walk in there, and there she is standing for the first time and walking towards me for the first time in, not in, in a year. We hugged each other, basically probably the most memorable time in my life to see her get through this. One of the things, she actually became my teacher. And the teaching process was, if you have the will to live, it is a very strong component of getting through cancer. And also the desire and determination of our providers, the doctors, the nurses, the hospital care, it is so important, but they're so dedicated. The other thing that got to me was the friendship and the loving kindness of the people that you knew or know. I mean, we had 
actually the hospital was getting so much mail for candy they had to have a different delivery service for their hundreds of cards coming in all the time and the loving kindness and the friendship from friends is very important if you see somebody you know to, to reach out it's from my standpoint from candy standpoint that got us through a lot of stuff also too candy got kind of funny too i mean she she, uh, she wanted to have a little people to know that she was there in her room at the hospital she put a little bag of candy outside and you would go you can hear the zamboni at night going by stopping and putting a hand in the bag and taking it out and going you would also see hear all the people all the way she said it made her feel like she was with people at the time so the friendship and the and, and just the expression of love and compassion meant a lot to both of us. The other thing that was phenomenal to us was Damon Runyon. Lorraine at the time was president. Young Lee was also part of the deal. We went through this retail, poly, retail as John said, but what we did, we embedded Damon Runyon and all the services in our branches. We had multitude, multitude of people that had been touched by Damon Runyon. I had a sales manager in New Milford. She basically was dying of breast cancer. Damon Runyon gave her with some contacts and some new drugs and things of nature, gave her the ability to see her daughter get married and sell her a house. I was in my Southbury office the other day with uh, an agent came up there to me and kissed me. He said, Damon Runyon gave me an outlet so my cancer is gone because of Damon Runyon. Damon Runyon is this very special place. What they do is special. These scientists, they have MDs, PhDs. I just do real estate. These are, <laughs> these are brilliant people. And it's, it's, I am totally dedicated to this organization. I just want to say thank you. I'm honored to be uh, nominated here today and sort of something I don't usually get in terms of it kind of hard for me to receive these things, but anyway, thank you very much. Appreciate it.